Hello Volvo enthusiasts, welcome to Nordicar's first how-to video. In this video, we'll show you how to adjust the valves of your B18 or B20 motor. The B18 and B20 are used in the Volvo 544, Volvo Amazon, P1800, 140 and even in the early 240 series. It might seem complicated if you've never done this before, but after watching this video you should be able to easily do it yourself. Since this video is about adjusting the valves of the B18 and B20 engine, let's make sure that's what you have. Firstly, the engine colour is red. It will either be marked B20 on the left side or B18 on the right side of the engine block, right below the cylinder head. What do we need? A large Phillips screwdriver, a spark plug wrench, a small screwdriver, a half inch wrench, a feeler gauge set, a 13 16 wrench, a pipe wrench, a workshop manual for the adjustment data, and a new valve cover gasket. What are we going to adjust? This is the cylinder head. At the top you can see the valves with the valve springs, and at the side you can see the spark plug holes. When we turn the head around, you see the combustion chamber, with an inlet valve and an outlet valve. Due to wear, the valve could further collapse into the head, changing the valve clearance, and therefore might need adjustment. Here you see the crankshaft pulley, and behind this cover is the camshaft. The camshaft runs through the block like this. On top of the camshaft are the tappet rods, which are pushed upwards by the cams against the rocker arm that opens the valve. Wear and tear will change the valve clearance, which may cause the engine to run less smoothly, along with the risk of serious damage to the valves. Let's take a closer look. The valve with the valve spring, and above it, the rocker arm. We're going to adjust the space between the valve and the rocker arm. We're now going to start the valve adjustment. The first step is to remove the valve cover. This is fixed with four bolts. We unscrew these with a Phillips head screwdriver. Then we take out the four spark plugs. We do this because then it'll be easier to rotate the crank and camshaft by hand. Step two is to look for the tumbling moment. Because the spark plugs have been removed, we can now easily rotate the crank and camshaft by rotating the radiator fan. When we rotate the fan, we see that the valves are operated. We're now looking for the tumbling moment. This is the moment at which the inlet and outlet valves are operated one after the other. We're now going to look for the tumbling moment of cylinder 4. We turn the fan and see the valve start to move. Now the first valve is opening and closing. When closed, the second valve immediately starts to open. The valves now move one after the other and when you pull the fan back and forth, you see them move one by one. This is the tumbling moment of cylinder 4. We can check this by looking at the other valves. If we now look at cylinder 3 and cylinder 2, we see that only one valve of each cylinder is operated, and nothing is operating at cylinder 1. We are now sure about cylinder 4's tumbling moment, and we can adjust the valves of cylinder 1. Step 3. Adjusting the valve clearance. We will now first check the valve clearance with a gauge of the correct thickness. The correct thickness can be found in the specs of the workshop manual or on our website. In this case, we see that the valve clearance is too big. The feeler gauge slides too easily between the valve top and the rocker arm. It should only just slip through, meaning you should feel a bit of resistance when moving the gauge. We will now adjust the valve clearance of cylinder 1. We use a half inch wrench to loosen the lock nut. Now we can turn the valve adjustment bolt with a flat screwdriver. If we tighten the valve adjustment bolt, the feeler gauge is also stuck. From this point the valve adjustment bolt must be loosened slightly until the feeler gauge slips through with a bit of resistance. And at this point the lock nut should be tightened. Check the valve clearances after tightening the lock nut. We will now look for the next cylinder for which the valve clearance can be adjusted. We turn the radiator fan and find the tumbling moment of cylinder 2. If you add the number of the cylinder whose valves are tumbling to the cylinder number whose valves can be adjusted, the total is always 5. 
So with cylinder 2 tumbling, we can adjust the valve clearance of cylinder 3. The adjustment is done in the same order as explained for cylinder 1. Loosen the lock nut, adjust the valve clearance, tighten the lock nut, and check yourself. After we have set the valve clearance of cylinder 3, we can look for the next cylinder whose valves are tumbling up. Turning the fan, we find the tumbling moment of cylinder 1, meaning we can start adjusting the valves of cylinder 4. After adjusting the valve clearance of cylinder 4, we continue to turn the radiator fan, finding cylinder 3 is tumbling up, meaning we can start adjusting the valves of cylinder 2. Step 4. Replacing the valve cover gasket. Now that we have adjusted all the valves, we can reassemble the valve cover. To do so, use a new valve cover gasket to prevent leakage. There are little metal flaps on the inside of the valve cover. If you put the gasket in place, you can squeeze the flaps and the cover a little so the gasket stays in place during assembly. Do not over tighten the cover bolts as this may cause deformation of the valve cover and cause leakage. We also recommend that you check those bolts once after 100 kilometers. This is the end of this video. We would like to thank you for watching and wish you success with your first time adjusting the valves of your Volvo engine. If you want to see more videos about repairs to classic Volvo cars, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel.